Hello! Uh, welcome, um, welcome back to Winter Reviews. Yeah, it's dark. <laughs> and for those of you who may be new, this show is called Original Concept Reviews. Because nobody's ever sat in the car talking about a film they've seen before. I've never heard of it. No. So that's... if you, Because it occurred to me, like, the joke... I've, I've been still using the title, but I haven't explained it since the first episode. Okay. So. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, sorry it's a bit dim, but this light, the middle one doesn't work. <laughs> Correct. And we, we haven't got any other kind of lighting. So, uh, yeah, no. no. You, this this no. is it. This is it. But, yeah, uh, mood lighting. Do you want to introduce the film or shall I? Um, take it away. Uh, we saw Judy and Punch. Now, I, I don't think, I can't remember if we've said this before. Basically, the way we choose movies is we know what the big films are and we definitely only see Frozen, 21 Bridges looks amazing, a couple of other films we're looking at, but then we look we go down the list and we're like, what's that one about? What's that one about? That's how we sort of found Edie. Yeah, oh Edie. Edie was really good. So we're like, Judy and Punch. Alright, watch the trailer. Like, yeah, alright, put that on the list. Originally we were gonna be seeing Adam's family today. Oh yeah. Mm. But for some reason, even though when we were first looking on the Sunday, because we're filming this on a Sunday, um, it did list Adam's family, and um, then it didn't. Hmm. So we decided, all right, we'll go see Judy and Punch. And I will say, I did like this movie. I will also say, this is a weird movie. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> it's really odd. <laughs> so I guess the first question is, um, have you ever actually seen a Punch and Judy show? No. No. If you like, obviously you're aware of some of the lore and the bits and pieces. Yeah. And yeah. So you know the idea of it would face the other way with it. We could use the lights of the um, platform. Yeah. For next time. For next time. Um, so <clears throat> at no point does it suggest that it is in any way based on actual events or people. Yeah. Um, even at the end, it has a sound disclaimer of any mm. you know person's historical yeah, otherwise yeah. secure prisons that kind of thing. Yeah. So. I think it's taking the idea and law of the Punch and Judy show. Uh, you've got, you know, Punch being a little bit punchy, um, you know, Judy being sort of the, the victim, they've got the baby, um, the dog nicking the sausages. Okay. There is actually an alligator at some point in the show. <laughs> yeah. And the policeman. Yeah. So those aspects are there. Yeah. But that's just kind of a very vague framework. So um, Punch and Judy, the people are puppeteers. They do the show. And yeah. Mr. Punch is like, Professor Punch, he's like the greatest puppeteer of his generation. And in the um, initial opening, we do see them performing the show. And it's actually a really good show. Yeah. And you can see the way they work together and you know, work around each other. And it's sort of, <laughs> they're kind of sweet and loving. And, you know, they're not an ideal couple. <laughs> no, far from it. Um, but. You know, in that initial thing, you see, yes, this you can see where the show would work and where they would be so enthralling to people. Mm. Do you want to talk a bit about the setting? Yeah. So it's sort of medieval-y... I think maybe post medieval because I don't know if they had, like, the towns sort of the built-up towns in medieval oh, yeah, times. Yeah, that's fair. There's a lot of brick yeah. building. Um, but, yeah, it's that sort of era with, like, the clothes and, <laughs> and all that sort of stuff. And, they're, you know, they're stoning people to death and there's, like, hanging people and, like, public executions and stuff. So it's all that sort of era. Yeah. Um, so, it's yeah, it's like um, that, that period of history. But also with... It's one of those films like... The closest equivalent I can think of, and I haven't seen it all the way through, is something like... Uh, da, da, da. What was the one where the... Um, Brain fart! The, the jousting one with um, Heath Ledger. Yes, that one. Um, yeah. I never got. I never night, watched the whole night, night Tale. Night Tale, Night's Tale, yes. Yeah, we have, um, you know, the sort of older, the you know, oldy setting. Yeah. But then it's got some modern vernacular and hmm. you know, swearing and like something. Like the, the soundtrack. Mm. I want to talk about the soundtrack. The soundtrack was really interesting because, like, when they were doing the show, there was one. I thought it was like um, Night on Board Mountain, but it wasn't. It was definitely Air on G String. But then they they sh they had it in the credits because I was checking out for it, but I didn't recognise the name. You'd know it if you heard it. But they did a modern remix on it. Oh, yeah. Did you not catch it when they were doing the show? Um, which show? Which one? The, the initial show. Oh, at the beginning. Yeah, we had Air on G String oh, and then the other thing that was like kind of a modern, like a popped up version of it. 
Oh, right, no. I but it was really know. good. Mm. Right. So it had music that sounded like it would have been written at that time. Yeah, yeah. But with a bit of a twist. Yeah, yeah. But, it, but it still worked. Because sometimes yeah. when they, um, you have a mod, like a, a period piece, I still haven't seen it, but Great Gatsby, the Leo DiCaprio version, yeah. um, <clears throat> is very much set in the 20s. You can see it in all the costuming and the, and the, um, the setup. Mm. Apparently, it has a, um, a rap soundtrack. Oh, like probably. a. Okay. Hip hoppy kind of soundtrack. Oh, really? Well, people say it's a little bit jarring. So, this worked. Hmm. Um, so, there is a plot. <laughs> there, no, there is. Yeah, yeah, there is. Um, so, basically, um, Punch, because they've got these. <clears throat> he, he's, he is a bit of a drinker. He's trying to, like, he wants to get the show. He gets the show on the road. You know, he wants to go to the big smoke. Um, it's never stated where it is. It, it is. I think it's supposed to be Englandish. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of mixed, yeah, you know, British accents. Um, uh, Punch and Judy themselves are um, Irish or Irish coded. Yeah. And but then you've got a few more other Northern and Yorkshire and mm. mixed accents. Yeah. yeah, there's a bit of everything in that. There's definitely some Scottish as well. Oh, there was yeah, reference yeah. to Welsh. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, like I'd say somewhere in northern England, yeah. but shot in Australia. So yeah, so who knows? <laughs> um, yeah, so that that was. We'll, we'll call it England. We'll call it north of the border, north of the Danelaw. Yeah, yeah oldie. Um, so he's left attending because they got these, these servants who um, we find out later actually raised Judy when her parents and family died from plague. Um, so they're, they're an adorable old couple. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? Uh, Maud and Scaramouche. <laughs> yeah, Scaramouche, the forgetful old man. Who's adorable. <laughs> yeah, bless him. Um, they are important characters. <laughs> they're like, <clears throat> you know, helping out in the house. And he's like, what's the point of having around? What's the point of having servants? They don't they're not, serve. They're, they're not actually servants. They were um, Judy's guardians, but yeah. So well, that's, where that's, get, punch season, punch season. <laughs> that's where you get the bit of, with the, the dog and the sausages and all that yeah. stuff happening. So basically, he's left to attend the baby for a couple of hours whilst Judy goes and runs some errands. And she's like, don't drink with the baby, you know, don't drink. And um, he goes upstairs to with the dog, the, 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 chasing the dog. And the old man's like, here, have a drink. He's like, oh, okay. And he sat the baby down like in front of the fire. So there's a bit of drums. Yeah, you think the baby's going to walk into the fire. Yeah. She was adorable. I know, bless. Yeah. Um, so she doesn't I mean she gets close I mean I get the, the whole point of you don't want the baby walking into the fire but at some point doesn't lizard brain go hot move away yeah I mean even yeah even when they're that young yeah yeah you'd think so wouldn't you Guess not. <laughs> I guess it didn't. Maybe, maybe it just didn't get. We that. didn't get far enough. Yeah. So I don't know. If, if if you have young children, I'm not saying to put them near hot things, but do you know that if they eventually near hot things, that they've pulled themselves away mm. before you you could get there? Because mm. you know, I mean, I'm just I'm curious. Um, but yes, yeah, so, so you think, oh god, is the thing going to happen to the baby there? And um, no, no, no. And you think, okay, maybe Punch isn't such a bad father. Mm. And then he starts chasing the dog again with what's cradling the baby. <laughs> what's cradling the baby? And being very careful, running upstairs yeah, yeah, and yeah. actually genuinely being very careful because, like, apart from probably a couple of scenes where there were there was obvious cutaway, mm. we are talking about a live actor with a live baby. Yeah, so yeah, you know, yeah. at the very least, the actor <laughs> is being very yeah. careful with this baby. Except, except for the the, the final scene <laughs> with the baby in it, the final bit. Perhaps not a real baby. <laughs> um, basically, he trips over something and um. <clears throat> I'm sorry, there is no other way of saying it. Eats the baby. <laughs> the, that baby got yoked. <laughs> and, oh, it was horrible, though, because you do hear the thump. Yeah, oh, God. Like, out of the yeah, top window, yeah, coasting. And, oh, and I do have to say, like, slight words for, for the end of the film. Yeah. Were you worried that they were going to find her? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, God. Um... And then obviously he tries to, he's all drunk and she comes home like, where's the baby? What have you done with the baby? Where is she? And, um, oh, you know, you put them down one place, they keep moving, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, what did he say that was, he said something funny, didn't he? Um, oh, the baby's gone, we'll just have to just deal with it. <laughs> just yeah, move let's move on, let's move on, move on, So she understandably completely spazzes out on him. Well, obviously, yeah. He, okay. So 
if I were to come at you spanners like she did, you would push me away for sure. Possibly a couple of shoves, depending on how I think. Yeah. Maybe you'd try and take hold of my arms to stop me from flailing at you. Yeah. You wouldn't then pick up a, a cane. Yeah, and then repeatedly beat you over the head with it. Repeatedly. Repeatedly. You you see, like, the, she sort of pop, pops the, the thing with it, flops her hands, and it's covered in blood. So he's like, oh fuck. <laughs> I grabs a blankie, <laughs> yeah. grabs a blanket, wraps her up. You see him. We see him sort of running into the woods, which has already been established as spooky, spooky woods, spooky woods. And um, yeah, he walks back, finds the um, local constable, who's very cute and adorable, has a crush on Judy. Because <laughs> yeah. there, there's there's some whole like there's a whole day of like slice oh, of life yeah. stuff that happens yeah. before all this, and that's kind of sweet. Uh, yeah, and then uh, we, we establish that. He, so the constable who's new has a crush. Derek, wasn't it? Uh, I think yeah, was it Derek? Yeah. Uh, Fairweather. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he's he's code is not code is like he's like the um, because he's not as rough and tough as like some of the other guys. They they make jokes about him redecorating and flowers, <laughs> but he's not actually even remotely coded gay. He is. No. He's just because he's a bit more modern. Yeah. Yeah. Or forward thinking. Forward thinking yeah. He actually believes in justice. Yeah. <laughs> Strange. What the, oh, the guy, that, I love that guy, the, the weird guy with the, um, oh, I don't even know what his name was. Or if yeah. They, you know who I mean, though. Which um, one? The, the, uh, like the, 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 kind of the marriage guy. Like, yeah, like the crier sort of guy. Yeah, him. Yeah. him. Um, mm. Yeah, and he, he's, just, he's talking about, oh, we need to have like justice and uh, and common sense and things like that. And he's like, well, this is not the pl- place for all these weird social experiments. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah he's Blakely or something? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Uh, weird name. Like, not all of them had names. Like, they had no. names, but you couldn't remember them all. No. Really interesting characters, though. Great actors. I mean, the only mm. one I've, you've heard of is Mia Watson, who yes. was um, Alice, mm. and she was she played Judy. Um, Probably have like, probably quite a few character actors that if you looked them up you go oh yeah okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but not you're yeah, the only one you've heard of is, yeah. is Mia. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, she's she's found by the local um, heathens near the heretics. So they've got a camp in spooky woods because mm-hmm. um, it it opens with this kid and like um, one of the halls makes jokes about him like being oh come on you look old enough to you know. You know, some, some inappropriate joke you shouldn't say to a child. Mm. Turns out that was actually a girl, so even more inappropriate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, so she's like watching the show. So that's that establishes her character, mm. little Scotty. Um, and yeah, so it basically because this is a village that believes in stonings <coughs> and like you know justice, you know, justice, justice, medieval and, justice, and like you know beat the devil. I mean. Outside of that, it wasn't necessarily religious, religi- religiously overtoned. No, I don't think so. Yeah, it was I think, the, the kind of like the devil and the witches and the kind of superstitions yeah, you expect of that era. Of that era, yeah. But not necessarily you know, Bible thumping. No. Uh, so, <clears throat> she's get found. You want to talk about how she's been found? Uh, yeah, so the kids um, go into the woods <laughs> as they do, mm-hmm. um, and then they see the hat. Yeah, because a little bunny, oh, such a cute little bunny hop, so little cool. bunny hop with a cotton tail. Um, and yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> uh, and they see her hand, um, and they sort of unearth her, and oh, she's definitely dead. Um, she's and, quite, uh, a little bit dead. I saw her twitch. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw her twitch. Yeah, and they load her on the back of their like wagon, um, little pull trolley thing. Yeah, and bring her back into into their little camp, their little society, uh, um, yeah. and uh, then they introduce her to like this. Doctor lady who we learn later was banished, one of many people who was banished from yeah. seaside, the town. So named because they thought one day the sea would come up <laughs> to beat the island, even though it's three days mule rides. I'm not sure how long that is, but that's. It's <laughs> a long way. Mules aren't fast. No, it's, it's a long way though. It's a long way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's. I think they're a bit of a stupid town. <laughs> it's quite possibly. <laughs> yeah. Although, actually, at the end, um, when they, they had the thing about being shot in New South Wales, there was a thing about seaside. Oh, really? As a oh, as a thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I didn't quite catch it. It was sort of you know scrolled past. I was like, oh, yeah. is seaside actually a place? Yeah. But maybe not here. Maybe actually in Australia. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Because all oh, these are weird. <laughs> so yeah, they find a. They got the old witchy lady who I'm sure was on opium. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was fabulous. I loved her. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it was, but she reminded me of Zoe Wanamaker. 
Oh yeah, possibly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know if it actually was, but um... I think she might have been like drinking her own potions. Yeah, <laughs> 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 definitely. And like she, she, um, she has a snake, and at one point, um, like because Judy has because she was really badly beaten. It's a really it's a surreal scene where she's like having this dream. Um, when she first wakes up after drinking like one of the, the strong one, it never works. Um, oh, we worked that time. She wakes up and like, you're right, you're okay. Like, she just screams yeah. like, fair enough, your baby's dead and your husband tried to kill you. Yeah. That, that sunset and like there's this whole thing where everyone hears it, including like the constable and, and Punch and like, oh, what's a, because you know, the whole wood shake. Yeah. And she sort of falls back to sleep and like at some point she tries to wake up and is like, Oh hey Mrs. Puppet Lady Doink. Oh, she's got a problem staying awake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. That was great. She she has this bit in the sound of the thing in the thing where she finally wakes up properly and starts, you know, being more sensible. Um, she's like, I'm gonna kill him. And so little Scotty's like just starts talking about anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> so that was like really good performances. Yeah, it was really yeah, fantastic. Um, I, I genuinely did enjoy it. It was just like, I was like, is this like a slow burn horror movie? Is it going to go in a in a really yeah really sadistic sort of... way? And it didn't. No, it sort of did, but not not, not, not as you would think, not as you expect. Yeah, the, the the um there was no actual witchcraft or you know no. I mean, there was a few magic tricks, uh, which were quite good, um, but they're typical um, presentation. Mm. Um, I guess she, yeah, I did think at one point when she, after she was like, um, made claim to her revenge on, yeah. on Punch, she was going to get together with all the women from the, the other society. Yeah. And they were like going to get the, all of the townsfolk, including yeah, yeah. Punch, and they were like cast spells. I think that's what I, <laughs> that's the way I thought it might have been going, but. No. No, they were just you know. they were just women and some men as well. Have been yeah. out, outcast. I mean, I don't know. It's ambiguous if the men were outcasted or just left in solidarity. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't really hear from the men much. No. Um. So yeah, there's this whole thing about them like possibly moving on, and um, so you got the main healer lady, mm. and then you've got like the other like matriarch mm. who's Scotty's mum. Mm. Um, sort of does most of the other talking, and then you just got a cast of colourful characters. There's actually one bit before Judy goes off to do her errands where she says to Punch to skin the rabbits because I haven't got the stomach for oh, it. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. And there's a there's a bit where like they they get left on the table, and I thought we're we just gonna have a whole thing where they're decaying, <laughs> but it wasn't. It was just a few maggots, and I guess they got cleaned up afterwards. Um, but yeah, and then when she wakes up and like is sort of more with it, she's like just grabs his rabbit off the table where they're prepping, prepping the food, just like skins it. Pulls it off. Like, oh okay. She's, yeah. she's like, and then like starts bashing it. She's and, like, like a changed person. I think the way she was bashing at it is possibly not the way they were they no, were preparing it. Not. Looking at the, the, the lady's face, just uh, in anger maybe and frustration. I mean, I'm sure it was still good eating, but. Oh, yeah. But yeah, no. It's, um... <laughs> Any further thoughts before we get into spoilers proper? Um, not at the moment, no. Okay, but would you recommend it? Yes. Who would you recommend it to? Um, I mean, okay, so it's rated fifteen. So obviously fifteen and over. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's really it's a really interesting take on a not even a traditional story, mm -hmm. but you know a. I don't know. It's not a traditional story because it's not a traditional story. It's Punch and Judy that everyone's heard of. Um, so I guess anybody that has ever heard of Punch and Judy, I suppose. Anyone who likes slow burn, character driven story. Yes. Yeah. Um, it it does say at the beginning like fifteen like uh, violence and like there is some there is blood but normal amounts of blood I'd say. Yeah, nothing too. Um, there's a it's just the two f bombs. Um, yeah, I didn't notice too many. It was one at the beginning, and one when the lady was describing what happened to Judy's family. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, yeah. Okay. So these two there. Yeah. There is a nipple. Oh, there is a nipple. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was really cute. Um, one yeah. of the ladies in the forest was breastfeeding, and yeah. like, uh, I don't know if it was actually her baby, because like at one point the the nipple falls out, and then the baby almost <laughs> immediately latches back on. Yeah, so it probably was. And so I don't know if well, it was just like. If the baby, if it was her, wasn't her baby, the baby was still nursing, and it's like, oh, that, yeah. you know, yeah, try again. <laughs> Big nip though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> so yeah, no, that, that was that was cute. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess we're kind of yeah, we're into the spoilers then. Yeah. Spoilers. 
Um, so, basically, Punch frames the adorable old couple. Yeah. Um, Derek, the detective, there's a constable Derek wants to, um, you know, get, take him in for questioning, and the, as he's going along, they're in the, um, the wagon, like, the cage wagon, and Jet Punch is like, because people are going, what's going on with them? And, like, Punch is giving it the blarney, because he is a good showman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it is suggested later on that Judy is the real talent behind the puppetry, but when you see the show, they look like they had good balance, he didn't know what he was doing. Mm. I mean, it's possible she was more talented, but it's not like he was untalented. No, no. He that's... definitely had the blarney, so... Yeah. You know, he was... As a showman, he was good. So as they were going past, he was like, "Yes, they've they killed my wife. They killed my baby. You know, like, you know, boo them. Like they, they put her in the oven. They like, hey, my baby." And, oh. Talking it up. And of course, by the time you get from here to here, they're like, Roo, the entire town's turned on them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, so, like, you know, Constable Derek's trying to like, you know, no, no, we can talk to so them, get, yeah, get the thing, have and, a fair trial, and, <laughs> and like, hang on, we haven't been hanging in a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mix it up a bit. Yeah, actually. <laughs> This is this is just me being like, oh, cute baby being cute. At the beginning, when they have the stoning ceremony, and, like oh, they get punched inside the first thing, it's like something. Yeah. <laughs> like they give Judy a, a stone, and the baby just starts playing with it. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? <laughs> it's just like, that's just baby being baby. Yeah, that's adorable. <laughs> it was. So yeah, um, they get framed and like uh, they got the ruffians. Like the um, they're all cheating at poker or whatever the card game they were playing. One point you see what bring a card out of their card piece. <laughs> They're getting right up in each other's faces. That's where you get the bit where it's like, I need to make some comes while we're probably picking flowers and doing <laughs> stuff. And like, I need to report the death, of the, the missing and the possible death of my wife and baby. That way. Yeah, he's through there. It turns out they, these these gentlemen do work. I don't, I don't know if they're officially deputised, but they're kind of like the, the local ruffians. That... <laughs> they're like the enforcers, aren't they? Yeah. So they get a confession. Yeah, yeah. So and then yeah. um, Blakey, whatever his name is, um, sort of says, oh, you missed the announcement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah they confessed and there's going to be a hanging by the end of the month. Yeah. So that's basically it's so The whole thing takes place over a few weeks. Mm. So you do see Judy get better, but she's still got like a big scar, a big scar yeah. under her eye. Um, and then she kind of gets revenge. So basically she um, is established early on that Punch is having an affair with the local wench, mm. who is suggested in some dialogue to actually be a whore. Yes, yeah. Well, I think <coughs> there was yeah, was suggesting that she actually works at the local. You know, the, the they call house. it they call, they call it the drinkies. Like, yeah, okay, enjoy this for drinkies. The drinkies. I'm, I'm now I've got to try and keep clean and sober. It's, it, a couple of times it said though, you keep got, he's got to keep clean and sober if he wants to be serious with his show because mm. he's been after like the talent scouts. Mm. Um, but she has um, twin boys. Um, I think it was Flea and Pancake, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> really Flea and Pancake, yeah. Really <laughs> random names. Um, and they're just like there. So they basically... It's, it's so much early on that they, they're having something going on. Like So she, you know, Judy sees them at the bar, like, or whatever, and like, so before it all happens. So they end up together. Yeah. Um, she's like, oh, scouts have come round. What? Who? What? You know, she's like, oh, these gentlemen have come round looking for you and work out scouts. So they try and do the show, and like he tries to teach her puppetry, and you know, he's like, no, this one stands up proud, and she's got me thing, and she's like, she can't do it, and she's getting frustrated, <clears throat> and he sort of slaps her about, and like, he looks at the boys and said, I have an idea. So, do you want to tell what happened in the idea? <laughs> yeah, so when the... Yeah, she couldn't operate the puppet, so they used Flea and Pancake <laughs> as, the, as the puppet. So they dressed, dressed one of them up in, like, lipstick and, like, Judy. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then the other one up, oh, God. Uh, just... And they just put the strings on them. <laughs> and then they were above as normal. We are like, trying to control them, and then they just end up fighting each other <laughs> on this show. Because... Basically, in the show, you know, like, you know, Punch hits Judy, and, like, they're, they're, they're frozen, sort of, at stage fright, or just, like, you yeah. know, not, not happy about it, but yeah. then they actually end up scrapping <laughs> on stage, and then the whole fight starts, because there's a lot of heckling going on. Yeah. That's when, like, Paul, the lady, was, like, said of being, um, you know, oh, you left the cat house, and it was just as a sideline. Yeah. Um, that was funny, this brawl just, <laughs> it just <laughs> erupts in the Punch and Judy. Because, like, the, sc- the scouts, like, Done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just close their books and just walk out. <laughs> so they they have pencils. Only scouts have pencils. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they must be scouts. <laughs> that was a train. That was a train. Um. So 
Judy sees the show. She goes to the show, like, last thing. She leaves early. A horse turns up. <laughs> like. Out of nowhere. All saddled and bridled. Yeah, yeah, it's all ready to go. Very pretty. Yeah, yeah, beautiful black beauty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he's had a couple of drinks. He's obviously not happy about the show going bad. Um, it is her house. I think that is established. It's her family home, isn't mm, it? I think so, yeah. So it it's a big old house, like a big country house, but like kind of run down. Yeah, a bit dilapidated. Um, so yeah, <laughs> he's sort of clocking out half and a half, and then she's basically sets up this huge like cloak and like kind of goes all now school with it like you you <laughs> i'm you are such you great for the devil the devil is impressed with what you've done and like yeah. flicks some blood on him and that, that uses her puppetry skills to like basically freak him out mm. and like you know you must confess because she finds out about the old the old couple mm. being hanged to the next day and paul comes for he was not happy about it i know i yeah, had a drink it. with them yeah it's a bit it's like you're not sure if Scaramouche fully understands what's happening yeah, to his memories. Yeah, bless him. Yeah. Because even when they put the noose around, it's like, oh, well, thank you. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he punched killed the dog as well. Oh, yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, not good. Never kill a dog. Never kill a dog. Mm. Oh, Keanu's going to be after you. <laughs> Don't tell Keanu. <laughs> um, so... She, he's like, are you a good man? I want to be a good man. I want to be a good man. You, you, you must confess. You must say. So he's like, so they set him up on the gallows. You can see Council Derek not being happy about it, and um, it was actually quite a good fit when she did the puppetry thing. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so they, uh, he stands up on the gallows. So they're all there, and like you got the thing, the mask, and everything, and he goes. The, the guy does the preamble and then he comes on and like these people oh yeah did not kill my wife and child there was a there was a joke okay so and this is like they didn't you know and then like so you're like oh oh is he actually going to do something right oh uh, yeah no because someone comes like, we love you Podge yeah, yeah. yeah we're with you and it goes to his head doesn't it and it's like the devil worked through these people <laughs> they knew not what they did yeah yeah and then we get the do you want to do the moment? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Certainly did credit here, which was nice. <laughs> so yeah, so he stands up and as he's getting all like empowered with his speech, just <laughs> he um is like um well he, he said a big close up on his face, he says I am punch, husband to a murdered wife <laughs> Father, to, <laughs> Father a to a murdered daughter, and I will have my vengeance. In this life or the next. <laughs> I think the credit was actually because there was a little music sting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like, oh, we just looked at each other. Like, did they? They did. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. I haven't seen Gladiator. No, I've not seen it either, no, but that's just the iconic line. It's amazing. Oh, oh, yeah. it's like, so they did that. That was just amazing. So then, um, they do the, they, he does drop them he does pull the lever yeah he pulls the, the uh, yeah. um, and then like they just fall straight through because mm. someone's interfered with the ropes yeah. and then um, Judy comes out leading the uh, the forest dwellers and um, they're like witches <laughs> she's sort of riding forward on, a, on her horse mm. like basically kind of corrals the mm. crowd around yeah. and rides through and like some of the kids and like some of the other people like go around the back of the gallows to basically collect more than Scaramouche mm. and um, he's, she's like she does this thing because at the beginning of the puppet show mm. at the beginning she does like they have Judy the Judy puppet do like a mid S spin oh yeah <laughs> which is really definitely done like yeah. Mary no, no all jokes aside marionette the whole puppetry thing I've yeah, I've had little so puppets that are just like a couple of movements and I've found them really awkward and this is like multiple mm. levels so you know fair play to any you know puppeteers out there you know you do good you do good work um, but she kind of does a similar move and like <laughs> kind of lands land on the set land yeah similar gallows. landing <laughs> um, and it's like the, the, the ruffians are like oh you're like no and they're like nope back yeah, back get back and then she does this whole thing like I'm Judy I'm not dead and you, like she has his axe and she's like 
put your hands up. <laughs> and she's like, oh, yeah, I'll give a little more than that. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> and like, the kids like whip these ropes and they, they basically string him up. Yeah, oh, yeah, by his wrists. And, like, so he's like now a strung up. Like a puppet. Like a puppet. Yeah. It's like, and like basically says, you know, I am, I am not a witch. Just this whole empowering speech about these people you like you've all been sick since you sent um sent the doctor away sent the doctor away with her potions and you you're looking like ruffians ever since you sent this other like the seamstress away and like you're all because you're afraid of all you're you're being different it's a whole whole great speech so if today i'm the witch but who is it tomorrow and like this whole thing and she sort of turns back to do things and this is this is kind of epic it's like you are a puppeteer no more Chops his hands off. <laughs> like, yeah. Just leaves him hanging. Oh, that's great. Oh, uh, we're in the spoiler zone. He doesn't die. What actually happens is kind of fun. We'll get to that. <laughs> I would say that time and place, he probably should have died. Yeah. He didn't get cauterized. There probably should have been more blood as well because yeah, these be are these are kind of main blood. arteries. Yeah, well, there, yeah. Yeah, and so he doesn't die. Fair enough. And that I think that was. The point that she didn't want to necessarily murder him up here, yeah, she calmed down, didn't want to murder him, but she wanted justice for her baby. Yeah, yeah, well, you would. Um, so, yeah, that kind of thing is like, oh! Hmm. So, you get the scene, like, towards the end, where, like, the some of the women's, I, I, it's, it's, I think it's heavily implied that a lot of them are from the village originally. Yes. So they may have just gone back to their old homes and whatever, but a few of the named characters ones we sort of got to know end up living in the house or that they're, they're seen tidying up which is the point where I thought they might have found the body okay yeah, yeah. yeah like <laughs> they're cleaning, cleaning the garden yeah. out and everything so like we don't you know because uh, it's bad enough already I know I was just saying I, I was going to say something but I don't want to put the thought in people's heads so I'm not going to say yeah. it and it's like so, no that's fair enough but uh, I don't know if she ends up with Constable Derek because that would be adorable. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's it's implied that you know the ladies are now living in the house and mm. sort of maintaining it and it, it, tidying it all up and making yeah. it look good. Um, I've just got a uh, oh, it's a tweet something something posted up. Um, and yeah, so do you want to talk about Punch? <clears throat> oh yeah, so he's in some sort of. Well, it's like a prison, like bedlam, slash, I think. Yeah, like padded room. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I thought it was going to completely pan out, and it turns out that he's finally in the big smoke, and yeah, it would, would yeah. reveal it is actually bedlam. Yeah. Um, but someone like bedlam, you know, yeah. he, he's, he's thing, he's all raggedy, and um, he's got his stumps um, tied together with these rags, um, like part of his prison uniform. Yeah. And on each stump, he's got a punch and a duty, <laughs> <laughs> and he does a little show. From the inside of his prison cell, or the window outside, <laughs> and then a couple, the, of, kids, a couple of, of kids just walk, top of wall. Walk, walk by the prison like, walls and go, hey, come here. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets a little, his own little punch. And it's, it's ambiguous whether he even realizes they're there. Yeah, he's just like in his own. He's just thing. insane, isn't he? Which, how do we feel about that fate? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's. All, I don't know. I mean, because he wasn't really sort of insane throughout. He was just a bad guy. Killing the baby was a tragic accident. Yeah. It Ultimately, was. it was a, tra- it a tragic was. accident. It was. Killing the dog was deliberate. Yeah, it was. But he's framing, just an the, framing the old couple. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That's a bit. Beating his wife. That's heavy. It's, it's twisted. Yeah. But to me, that comes across as more calculated. And he was very calculated with everything he did. So yeah. I don't know, I don't know, just being his wife was, Being his wife was not good, but also you could... Would, would that come under crime of passion? Mm, he, well, it was kind of partially self-defence, because yeah. she was a thing, but then it went over the line. Yeah. So would that... I don't know. Yeah, still not a good guy. No. But I don't know, to say, I don't know, maybe he just went insane after he lost his... Maybe hands. that's why he went insane, because he lost his hands, couldn't be a puppeteer. Yeah. And so they, you know, he went mad and they locked him up, and that's the only way he could be a puppeteer. Mm. Because so, yeah. I mean, even that time and place, if you can't use your hands, you're pretty much useless well, to society. It. Yeah, so maybe that's just what happened. He just lost himself. You know, so... Um, but yeah, no, it was good. Mm. Like I said, the soundtrack was... That, that song in the end credits. Mm. Like, was that a new song or was that 80s? Because it felt... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's catchy as fuck, though. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'll be looking at that Yeah. Hmm. I tried to catch it in the credits. And I was like, oh, fuck, I missed it. Um, we'll look it up. I think it was like life, love, life of life, love of life, or life yeah, is love. Like that. It was good. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, like I said, it was. Was it the film you expected from the trailer? Not really. 
What were we expecting to be like more? I don't, I don't know what was it. I mean, something maybe more horror like. Or more revengey. Yeah, more revengey and a bit more gory. Mm. So, but no, yeah, it was. It wasn't entirely like what I was expecting, but I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I'd agree with that. Uh, yeah. He, sort of, oh, is he going to go all you know, mm. warrior woman and like you mm. know, get her revenge and like be all and like take down the entire village mm. and like all we'll clear out the corruption? And no, it wasn't. It wasn't quite that. It was. It was a good film. I, yeah. Again, <clears throat> I'm not sure who necessarily I recommend to. If you like twisted tales, if you like sort of kind of historical but not quite, you know. Yeah. Um, if you like really good soundtracks that quite yeah. don't quite fit with the film, yeah. I might actually see if the soundtracks available. Cause that's some interesting music. Mm, more than likely. <sighs> so, mm. how are we over time? I've oh, got a couple of minutes. Would you try this quick? Okay, yeah, oh yeah. I got it got on my phone. Uh, the first one I do remember was Knives Out. Correct. Which still looks amazing. Oh, it we haven't looks talked so about, we, I don't think we've talked about it yet. <coughs> it looks amazing. Yeah, it does look Great cool. cast. Amazing cast. Um, basically, uh, uh, who done it? Satire? Yeah. It, looks, it just looks weird and, and fun <laughs> and, and you know, lots of really cool people in it, um, including like Chris Evans and Daniel Craig, Daniel Craig. And, and other people. Yeah, such, such a good car. Look it up. It looks amazing. You, yeah. If you already heard of it, you know you want to see it. Oh, if you yes. haven't heard of it yet, go look it up, and then you know you want to see you it. Want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. The second one, Motherless Brooklyn. That looks good. Looks really, really. Sort of okay, deep. so this is. You start with Ed Norton being kind <laughs> of. Do we think maybe some kind of um, Tourette's? Yeah, I think so. Kind of like not quite right in the brain, possibly under because like, what time period we've we been like. 50s? Yeah, early? It's, 40, 40, yeah, 50. it's got that sort of 50s-ish vibe. Maybe a bit earlier? I don't know, because yeah. it definitely wasn't wartime. No, no. Maybe late 40s? Yeah. And mm. then, so he's talking about how he's got like his problems, and then like, how he, he tries to do things, and he's acting kind of weird. And like there's this thing where he's like he's, someone's obviously asked him for a light and he like he lights it up and like, he's rolling <laughs> out. Don't yeah. like, forget I asked. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, but then I met this guy and he helped me learn to steal my brain. And there's Bruce Willis. <laughs> so, yes. So it just keeps getting better. <laughs> and like I was thinking, have had normal Bruce Willis like never worked together before because like <laughs> this is good. I'm liking this. Mm. And then you've got so something happens to Bruce's character. And then you've got, um, in quick succession, Alec Baldwin and Willem Dafoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, oh! oh! <laughs> Look, this cast is amazing! Yeah. Yeah. Um, so basically, and then... Uh, I feel bad because I don't know if I should know who the black lady is. Um, I, I, I can put a name to her face. To be no. no. So I don't know, maybe she's an up-and-comer or what, but... Mm. Um, basically, it's like... As far as I can tell, it's some kind of private detective. Maybe they're maybe they're gangsters, but they've like mm. this, the city corruption, mm. and um, you know, people are dying and disappearing because nobody they're invisible, nobody cares, and it's like a whole power struggle yeah. um, thing. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah, it, it does, does look it, good. Yeah, yeah. It looks really it looks interesting. Really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So that's 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 that one. The motherless Brooklyn, and then um, a hidden life, which. Yeah, well, that was. Because um, read the parenthesis. Malik. <laughs> it looks very Malicky. <laughs> if you know anything about Terence Malik, and I, I could tell you a couple of. Um, he did Tree of Life. Um, oh, he right. did um, Thin Red Line. No, no, no. It's a war movie with not Sean Penn. It's uh, or just Red Line. Oh. I think it is. Uh, it's. It came out around the same t- similar time as Private Ryan, Tim Ryan, Ryan. Oh, like, and people like you know like people, oh there's a couple of different war movies and like yeah. it's very he is very art housey. Mm. So it starts off with this um, thing and it's like his family like you remember when we first met and they're meeting and mm. like all this stuff and like their life together and their family. Then suddenly Nazi Germany. Yes, yeah. <laughs> oh okay. Oh all so, right. okay. So they're it's, German. <laughs> not the way I saw it going, but okay. Uh, a lot of very religiously, um, like you know, I. The, as far as I can tell, he is Catholic. Yeah, I think. So. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's very on eight crosses, isn't it? Talking yeah. to a priest at one point. So. Yeah, and um, he basically doesn't want to swear swear fealty to Hitler, and so he gets put in jail for it. And there's like lots of sweeping landscape, and it's like it probably is good. Probably well acted and it looks really pretty, but 
Uh, no, I'm not feeling it. No, it, uh, it didn't really, it didn't grab me. I don't mm. know what it was about it. It just didn't, yeah, no. Not, I'm not convinced. No. no. Well, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's good if you like Terrace Malick. Hmm. Uh, or if you are interested in sort of... Because it, as a war history movie, it looks like it might be interesting as like a slice of life or like from a, a different point of view. Hmm. Like the sort of point of view you wouldn't necessarily... Because most war movies in English tend to be from the British side of view for a start. Yeah, yeah. Or at least the Allies. Yeah. So if you're interested in a war movie told from the other side, mm, yeah, then certainly, good. yeah, absolutely. I just... Yeah. It wasn't really grabby, grabbing me, but it, it, like I said, it didn't look terrible. Yeah. It looked like it was really well acted. Yeah. Might even get a couple of nods. Hmm. Yeah, probably. But, you know, yeah. not quite. And waves. The only way I can think to describe it looking at the trailer is slice of life drama about this, this black family. Yeah. Yeah, and just the things that they go through, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't look terrible. I don't, again, I don't know if it's necessarily grabbing me. I mean, it might be more. Probably less heavy than, um, you know, Hidden Life. Hmm. <coughs> um, it looks like it probably has a happy ending. Where it yeah. Happens, so. It's like a bit of drums, a bit of, you know, hugging and, you know, kids running around and being happy-go-lucky. And yeah. it, 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 it looks like the only one set in the modern... Well, actually, no, I think Knives Out is modern. Yeah. But it's like... I don't... I don't know what else I can really say about it. It looks... If you're into that, you know... Without possibly coming across as a little bit racially insensitive I'm not sure we're the audience yeah I, I was thinking that when I was watching the trailer yeah yeah I think it's not aimed at us I mean it might be a really good film yeah, and yeah, if, if sure we watched it. it we might end up really enjoying yeah, it yeah more than likely yeah but on the list of films that we definitely want to go see yeah, it's, it's not high up there no. no so I mean if we like everything else has been and gone and like mm. oh well, should we check out Waves yeah we, you know like if it's the third be. movie of the month it's free <laughs> yeah that's true so yeah. it looks good. Uh, it looks sweet. It looks like it probably is quite well acted. Mm. Um, you know, everyone looked like they were having a good time. Mm. I'm just not sure if it's necessary for us. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. But that being said, if watched it, could could well have a good time with it. Yep, hundred so, percent. Yeah. I think that that was just the four trailers, wasn't it? That was it. Yeah. Unless you want to review the champagne advert. <laughs> oh yeah. It the earrings are pretty. <laughs> yeah, it looked like nice champagne. Yeah, it's my it's my way, so yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, it's pricey. Yeah. So I think we're coming close to time now anyway, so oh, yeah. thank you for watching. If you have been, um like, share, subscribe, all the all the groovy stuff, algorithm. Um Yeah, we'll say goodbye. Thanks for watching. I've been Michelle, he's been Adam, we will see you next time. Bye!